And there's this other story that was going somewhat viral on my side of the internet too, regarding the new creative director for Supreme. So as most of you will know, uh, Tremaine Emery from Denim Tears was previously the creative director of Supreme. That ended in disaster because of some conflict he had with Supreme. He allegedly accused them, basically accused them, not allegedly, he accused them of being systemically racist because of some disagreements he had with designs that he was trying to put forward in that and all the kind of backlash around that. So a lot of people were speculating on who the new creative director would be. And I suggested from the beginning that I probably think if you take in what Tremaine said in an interview recently with Torre, if you believe what he said in terms of the conflict he was having already before, when he started, outside of the, his designs getting rejected, he had a, he was biting heads with a lot of people who were to Supreme. Um, he mainly named this woman called Erin McGee, who's kind of a bit of a streetwear legend because she was one of the first people to cover like a somewhat prominent streetwear brand back in the day um, for women called Made Me. And she's been at Supreme for many, many years since then. I, I remember her working there back in the day because I remember her name also being attached to Supreme. But I didn't know she was still there this whole time. So she's been there for a while and Tremaine mentioned on the Torre show that apart from him thinking that she was racist um, basically without saying he also said that her, him and her butted heads and the reason why he said that is because she felt like she should have got the creative director role because she's been there long she's a woman she's meant to be queer she ticks all these boxes and shit so she thought she was going to get a job before Tremaine and then Tremaine gets it and then she's a bit pissed off especially because he's external and maybe because she thinks she's better than him who knows and since then they were biting heads from the beginning and I think he also was responsible no was she responsible I don't know. I think she's one of the people who was kind of trying to push Supreme doing a collaboration with um, the fashion guy from Belgium. I forgot his name. I think it's Walter something, right? Um, who had beef with Virgil. And um, she was one of the people pushing that collaboration forward, according to Tremaine, basically. And um, what other people in the company were like, nah, because of how he treated Virgil. And then Supreme basically declined that collaboration out of respect for Virgil. Bloody blah, blah, blah. Whoever you believe, whoever you believe. But I said when I heard that rumor, the stories from Tremaine and reading between the lines what happened to him at Supreme, I said the thing that they could probably only do now going forward is to either hire somebody who's completely malleable, who knows how to work in the corporate industry, who already has their own brand, or to just do away with this whole glitzy creative director thing and just hire someone from within. Now, they probably can't do that because I'd imagine the whole reason why they hired a the creative director externally had something to do with the VF Corp investment. I'm sure the VF Corp investment, maybe part of it was to expand, uh, you know, to basically build on the the company's growth already, hire more people, open more stores. And if they could, you know, top it off by having somebody well known take the creative director role, it kind of adds to the law and the uh, clicks that the Supreme would get, right? Because there'd be a big story in media and stuff if somebody well known in streetwear or fashion wants to get a creative director role. So I was saying, hey, either you scrap it all together or you hire somebody in house, but most likely you can't do that because VF Corp said you have to hire somebody big and famous. So if it's someone big and famous, somebody has to be completely malleable to working within a corporate industry who's not going to maybe who's going to work well with others and it isn't going to think they're actually in charge because they're not because as Tremaine mentioned in the interview with Torre um, James Jebbier is basically still the creative director and still runs a show at Supreme um, you just kind of you have your role but you still kind of answer to him and you always have kind of final say so so when this Roma got put out about um, advisory board crystals it did make somewhat a lot of sense because of how they go about business how quickly they've kind of grown and the fact that they've always to me looked like a an urban outfitters brand if that makes any sense not as like a derogatory dig at them but it's never really stood out to me but it's always been quietly successful it kind of feels like a a more commercial version of online ceramics i'm not going to lie i always thought they were kind of the same thing um it took me a while to realize that they're completely different things online ceramics and, and advisory um board crystals but it did make some sense when this rumor first was floated on social media that the advisory board crystals um duo and couple would be taken over as creative directors for supreme and obviously with it being a man and woman when you've got those kind of you know boxes ticked also the fact that they're already running their own brand and the fact that they're quite commercial already i think they'd probably be able to work within the corporate structure of supreme a lot easier than maybe denim tears had been being a what somewhat of an independent brand doing it on his own and the type of stuff that he designs would make more sense but it has now been cleared up courtesy of supreme that this is not the case so that story has completely been confuffed but let's read it anyway from the original story to the update it says original story los angeles based label advisory board crystals was founded by remington guest and heather harbour in 2015 after an unexpected joint uber ride um, um, 
blah 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 let's scroll down here he's year, he's year and a half let's talk about Tremaine here his year and a half long stint was cut short due to systemic racism sharing text messages with supreme leaders on instagram i left supreme because of the systemic racism issues the company has a treatment of arthur jaffa um collaboration um have a guest sorry guest and harbour's appointment would set supreme on a new path um to set the new creative directors however would also become supreme's first female leader abc's recent history um aligns with the brand's target market seeing seasonal collections gain virality through kif mba vans collaborations so this alleged was a story um if that was to be true it would be a little bit of a downgrade i feel like if you're a supreme fan and you complain about denim tears getting the job or sorry tremaine getting a job the founder of denim tears you should have just as much complaints about advisor wood crystals because i think they're on the same levels in terms of execution like if you don't like denim tears i don't think you can stand here and say that advisor wood crystals is doing anything kind of you know um forward thinking it's not really it's basically the same sort of stuff sweats t-shirts you know other bits and bobs cut and so stuff but it's really not nothing that special that you'd think would kind of warrant somebody getting hired by supreme you'd think so right cool so that'll be my initial thing but the other thing i think about as well is that it's kind of funny if it was to be true because this is the complete opposite of what tremaine is right this is like the most whitest brand you could find um compared to the most blackest brand you can find even though his brand now has been co-opted by the whites out there but still this would be an incredible incredible turn if they did this because it would kind of go to show that maybe they culturally didn't understand how to maybe work with somebody like a Tremaine especially within this kind of you know very sensitive heightened political social times we're living at the moment where the politics and everything is kind of interwoven with everything that we're kind of doing even though it shouldn't be maybe the way to do it is to get a very malleable Caucasian people right who run their brand a certain way maybe a little bit more um, adjusted to working within a big corporate structure so that would make somewhat level of sense but then the more again you think about it the more you think about what them tears did you think to yourself you know what that was probably the one shot they took which they would never take again which is again some of the reasons and the problems where people when they fall out with companies the way he did and when it ends the way it does it sometimes has some really bad and negative effects on other people who maybe could have got the job because of how bad it went for you they've now been stung their hands have been burned they're not going to go through that again because you know as much as he would like to believe he's like you know the supreme designer and he's the best in the world at everything it goes to so it goes i don't think most people would say like jermaine's the most gifted designer in the world maybe he's got great ideas but not the most gifted designer in the world cool the fact that they took a chance on him i thought was more of a credit to supreme then more of a credit to him because it showed that they were willing to give somebody on the face of it who's maybe just new to the scene hasn't necessarily you know ha been in fashion that long or clothes making that long to give him that sort of chance goes to show how maybe forward thinking they are and maybe it was a bit of a sign as to why they've been around for so long but now that it didn't work out the way they wanted it to work out it wouldn't also surprise me to like you know what we took that one chance never again let's either hire somebody in-house quietly or hire somebody faceless quietly or just do it with the people that you know or just basically scrap the whole thing which they probably can't but that would make more sense so i'm not surprised when the update came out and it says according to the official representative in supreme the brand is denying the rumor and labeling it as fake no official announcement on the new appointment has been made so the initial rumor anyway when it did come out was that the lady from um, cactus plant flea market is the one that's now been working unofficially at supreme in that creative director role that's what people have been saying so either that rumor is true or that rumor is false i'm not too sure but it seems like there's something happening behind the scenes i'm not sure what's going on what the deals is but it seems that something's happening because if it was just a complete block off and we're moving on we're not doing this again they would have said it already but the fact that they're you know not really confirming or denying certain things or clarifying certain things except for this of course leads me to believe that maybe that door is still open that vacancy is still there and they're waiting to find the right candidate or the right fit um you know whatever approach that they can do to kind of make that work going forward so let's see what happens but the rumor about advisory board crystals taking over supreme as creative directors has completely been debunked as high piece is saying here and it's not going to happen unfortunately which i think is a good thing because that advisory board crystals brand is it's a bit shit to be fair like i said i'd much rather wear online ceramics um, it just looks like overpriced fucking urban outfits to me and yeah just not for me in the slightest not for me in the slightest and again if you don't like denim tears but you like you know a, a, 
uh, what you call it, advisory board crystals, you're probably racist, <laughs> according to Tremaine. And I'd actually have to agree because that brand is fucking terrible. Like, please, I'd, I'd have to agree. If that, if that was the case, I'd have to agree because this is just like white people's gallery department, isn't it? Really and truly. Look at the pictures here on social media, on Google, sorry. This is basically just white people's gallery department. Maybe they would say gallery department's black people's um, advisory board crystals. I don't think so. But I just think this is what it is. This is white people's um, gallery department and I'm just not for it personally for me. I'm just not for it. But hey, what do I know? What do I know?